and we do have the queen of wands and the page of wands a passionate new beginning with somebody page of wands is the spark the chemistry the flirt or flirtatious kind of energy um the beginning of it's a page right so it's a journey but a passionate one and might be another fire sign we do have the queen of wands or this is you uh, getting what you want right we do have the nine of cups and this is the energy of wish fulfillment this is an energy of everything is mine and i finally get what i deserve or i want or this is all mine i'm just saying nine of cups and we do have the queen of cups pisces cancer scorpio so it might be a water sign you long for it's feminine energy but we know it can be very well masculine energy too we have the energy of two queens but it means just that right we have emotions and we have passion so nine of wands we are still hurt a little bit this is about boundaries this is about healing this is the wounded warrior this is about perseverance all that good stuff good we are done shuffling so now yeah, let's see the bottom of the deck for the overall energy for this time and we do have the three of cups so we have uh, the energy of reconciliation easy breezy energy friends going out being social meeting somebody in a social um, gathering of some sort even though we are in social isol isolation we are not allowed to and that is an offer on the table page of pentacles page of pentacles three of cups and we are so worried about i wonder why and the page of swords we have communication we have an offer and we have a lot of stress because of it and the reconciliation and the easy breezy um kind of energy and good times so so let's see what this is all about So Leo, past energies on your side, the person you are dealing with, and mutual energies. Current energies on your side, the person you are dealing with, and mutual energies. And let's see the possible outcome for the last week of March 2020 on your side. The person you are dealing with, and mutual energies bottom of the deck we do have the tower some explosive situation here tower five of wands it was a mess king of wands might be another fire sign temperance ten of cups i'm just saying knight of wands might be another uh, fire sign you are dealing with and there might have been a boom we'll see right we will see but for now this reconciliation is driving us crazy I'm just saying nine of swords right and it's all it's all in your head nine of swords is the universe saying well you know what you are thinking too much about and you are stressing too much over this but we have new beginnings page page of pentacles page of so um leo in the past you and this person are you kidding me we have the nine of cups and the ten of cups some of you might have been married to this person Ten of Cups is the energy of uh, families, the energy of um, communities, an energy of sharing um, your life with somebody. And we do have the Nine of Cups, so they were your wish fulfillment. This is what you wanted and this is what you wanted with them, you know, like family and, uh, and being together and having uh, beautiful times. And you have a lot of cups on your side, so probably something was extremely emotional and um probably you've been emotionally involved i mean all these cups are you kidding me so so i'm just saying right uh and it is the energy of them representing everything that you wanted and some of you had kids with this person we do have um you know ten of cups has kids in it so um and it's the energy of family it's not the energy of legacy is the ten of pentacles but still you know an energy of something being solid um, build on an emotional um, solid ground or being quite clear about right now the other person you are dealing with <laughs> they have the eyes on the money <laughs> I'm just saying we do have the death card so probably somebody said no thank you or this is really the energy of putting an end to a relationship to um, to a family situation 
to a commitment that you had with this person and the four of pentacles i'm not sure they really let you go because four of pentacles in love readings is um still our continuing to be connected to you not wanting to let you go um is the energy you have self-protection in some way so maybe this is um you know um whatever ending happened at some point they've been very cautious about and very protective make sure you know that they don't lose anything in the process but also is the energy of holding on to somebody for their dear life especially in this reading now leo between you and this person might have been a child maybe you had a child with this person but we do have the sun which is your energy and the knight of cups a lot of love and a lot of desire a lot an awakening of some sort um a truth that stood between you and this person your truth because the sun is you and the knight of cups this is my love you i want you i want to make love to you card so i'm sure there was something there an emotional bond um and there was something like something is special you know but because that is the sun illuminating everything and making it actually um shining in a special way right that's the sun the shining energy and the truth energy so and this combination of cards by excellence it speaks of true love actually um true awakening to emotions and a special bond with somebody and of course might have been a pisces cancer scorpio or another leo like yourself for some of you and speaking of zodiac signs we do have taurus virgo capricorn we have um gemini libra or aquarius we have pisces cancer scorpio and leo like yourself and scorpio again here but there was love and there was an abrupt ending that's the death card you know we are alive today we are no longer there tomorrow or on another journey so this is the death card and you know what pisces the um why do i say pisces you know what leo the um death card is also a transformation um so if this was your question right and i say that because it's really paired or in the past we have the sun and the death so it is transformation through awakening um and i do believe this uh, person somehow transformed um we have energies of holding on to financial um, assets and aspects and being very focused on money that's the four of pentacles right make sure they don't lose anything um you know a fear of um you know uh, maybe the separation you guys had uh, you know somehow money were involved or financial assets or something that they were afraid to lose actually um and then there was this awakening this transformation through actually the power of love that's the knight of cups um genuine and unconditional love that's the nine nine the knight of cups and the sun is all about the truth so um leo where are we right now we do have the eight of cups and we have the five of cups so probably you walked away and now you feel sorry about maybe we have some regrets some guilt this is also my i almost died missing you and the eight of cups we keep going um eight of cups is the energy of um destiny is calling so i'm on my way kind of energy and i you know i'm continuing the journey no matter what but we still have a lot of cups and by the way like this is not your energy right and you know what happens with fire sign and water sign by the way leo if you know please let me know in the comments of course i know but i'm just saying a fire sign with a water sign but you have a lot of water here so um i would say emotional times for you um even in the past nine of cups ten of cups and now you have eight of cups five of cups so too many cups too many emotions and um uh, let's make sure we don't get confused over there um because you know five of cups is the energy of looking at the three cups that were spilled and we are not seeing the two cups right behind you so that is this energy for somebody and eight of cups yeah it can be the universe making a statement but i feel some of you it's actually guidance let's keep walking right now the person you are dealing with they are quite tied up to the pain that they've caused to you we do have the three of swords and the eight of swords somebody cannot move um you know because of um 
of this pain because of this betrayal three of swords is you know doing something that is not very high vibration um, and eight of swords is the energy of being entangled in all that whatever was created and whatever paid for some of you actually if you walked away or you continued to walk away you came in their life you gave them happiness and with a son children and a sense of family a sense of life is a bliss and it's now you walking away somebody here is quite bound to you and quite in pain i would say but they have the death on their side in the past so it's like you know they drop the um, the information and now you are you keep walking because this is what we do we keep um, we continue the journey it doesn't stop here right and i feel that somebody is really tied up in whatever whatever happened whatever you know a situation they've kind of created in some way and we have you all emotional we have you all worried about but i feel this is also their energy nine of swords with the eight of swords three of swords might also be them being concerned by what um, they've done or how the situation is unfolding for them I just love the energy between you and this person right now. We do have the King of Pentacles. This is a lot of nurturing energy. This is somebody wanting to take care of you. And then we have you with, as the Queen of Wands. Being quite passionate about this person. Also staying strong. Staying in your own truth. In your own power. Uh, Queen of Wands is the most beautiful of the Queens. Except the Empress. Please. You know. <laughs> it's like let's not confuse. Let's not say she's the best. No actually the Empress is the best. But right after the empress in terms of passion and beauty and being a social bumblebee and talking to people well that's the queen of wands you know um and then we do love the energy of king of pentacles because it's a mature energy it's not um somebody you can um you know push around but in the same time um it's the energy again of nurturing of um stability right uh, focused on practicality of life and everyday life and um, that is an energy of abundance around them if that ever counts actually um, well you are so in trouble Leo I hope you know that right so coming your way we do have the Empress speaking of the Empress I believe we just called her because it's actually it's the best energy ever of creation and then we have the tower uh, no it's not bad no if you're wondering on the contrary it um i'm sensing the energy of breaking barriers and limits and boundaries and actually enabling this beautiful abundance because we set on fire whatever old ways um were between you and this person or within yourself and it's really it feels like burning the old world and moving towards this energy of the empress again we know it's the most playful energy in the deck we know it's um the energy of somebody being smart being wise but in the same time being kind it's you know the heart of gold with the mind for business um that's honestly the energy and it's also the energy of creation and motherhood so for some of you of course might be like a surprising situation where we might have a surprising you know um a surprise of a of a child of some sort family of some sort of creation of some sort of abundance news but it does feel like um burning the old world and moving into the new now the person you are dealing with leo uh, moving towards the end of march we have them in hermit mode so this is being um in hiding this is being uh, wise about something, shining a light on something. This is trying to gain some wisdom and um, insight on a situation. And with the Nine of Wands, we have them a little bit defensive, a little bit setting boundaries and guidelines and, and uh, limits of some sort. And we have them protecting themselves. Nine of Wands is the energy of, um, I'll continue to do what I need to do, right? And mutual energies between you and this person is two of cups and the full so soulmate connection soulmate bond love awakening to and a new leap of faith starting new it's a new cycle of the same love um you know 
and it's taking a chance actually both of you taking a chance at this life but my god they come to the table with this energy right nine of wands they are cautious as f right <laughs> i'm just saying you know it's like tiptoeing the nine of wands let me plan nine ones every time i take a step towards you you know let me <laughs> And then we have the hermit and we just adore the energy of the hermit because it is wisdom it is knowing better is this it is about having learned the lessons from the past and if they um make us go boom with abundance and playfulness and sensuality well we are taking it right leo i'm just saying we do have the boom and we have the empress it's the most amazing boom somebody can have and let's hope it will last long enough, right? I'm just saying. <laughs> um, but yeah, overall energy is nine of swords. Somebody is worried and it's interesting. That is reconciliation. That is this beautiful energy of cups. And yet somebody is uh, very worried and very cautious. And, um, you know, advancing slowly. But of course, three of swords, eight of swords. I mean, you know, somebody is in a mental prison. Somebody is confined to some conditions and limits and... And that is something around them that uh, prevents them from moving uh, freely, right? And where they want to move, look at the energies, um, Leo, between you and this person. You do have the Knight of Cups and the Sun. Again, my lovey, I want you, I want to make love to you card with the Sun, the card of truth. This is who I am. This is my truth. This is what I want. Take it or leave it, right? And then we move towards in the current moment, um, current energies, and we have the Queen of uh, of wands and king of pentacles again beautiful energy together um i would say more than fire sign and water sign but again it's debatable and we move towards the end of march and we have the two of cups and the full again the energy between the two of you it's simple is simply amazing but separately we are still journeying we are uh, full of emotions over here we have still creative booms <laughs> between you and this person and they are surrounded by swords and um, wands in terms of protection um, cautiousness uh, you know healing and because nine of wands is the wounded warrior so I'm just saying Leo let's see if we should take them back or not when they will come back because it's a matter of when not if so let's see what guidance we receive today and you know you always have to use your better judgment right because it is always the best we do have honeymoon enjoy the bliss of holiday time together so i don't know honeymoon is coming for you just got your green light actually and maybe you should take them on a honeymoon why don't you pull your credit card and pay for it right <laughs> I'm sorry. I know. I'm so bad. We do have separation. You have honeymoon and separation. That's interesting. Probably after this separation, that is honeymoon coming or somebody needs to separate so that this honeymoon uh, can happen. Time apart from your partner is on the horizon. So I don't know. Somebody needs to live, live behind somebody. And we need a conversation. Heart to heart conversations. Honestly, discuss your feelings with each other um and we have worth waiting for divine timing is that work in your love life yeah um, i don't know who needs to separate i don't know who needs to um have the honeymoon but there is some waiting involved here that's just crazy i'm just saying leo looks like somebody is not available and somebody is and and, and somebody is stressed and the other person is like okay I can wait, but it better come with a boom. I'm just saying. And Leo, we do have surrender obsessive thinking. That is, um, we ask for some guidance. And it says, if you're obsessing about a person or situation, turn the dilemma over to spirit. Doing so will help bring you clarity and even solve the problem. And somebody has some addictions here, bottom of the deck, surrender your addictions. So we need some uh, special treatment for that, right? And it says whether you are addicted to substances, food, people, sex, or overworking, take action to begin to heal the addiction and replace it with healthier alternatives. 
So, Leo, this is all that I have for you guys. This is such a beautiful, such a beautiful reading. Um, and, of course, as always, please let me know what you think. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, and come see me next time. Love you. Take care.